Speaking of Loma, you know, he's fighting Nakatani next yeah, month. Fight. <laughs> um, how tough is that fight for him? And, and do you still want to see a rematch with Tiafima Lopez? Or, uh, sorry for the two for yeah, one there. First, but, yeah. first question, super tough fight. Nakatani is, is yeah. a bad dude. Um, I, but I think stylistically, it's probably going to play into the hands of, of Loma's best skill set. Um, but if, if Loma has lost half a step, it's going to show. Nakatani will, will, will expose any kind of negative uh, aspects of, of your, your your style that you have. And then in terms of the rematch, I don't know how much of it's going to be different. I, just, I don't think, I think Tio's going to get better. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I think that for the fact that he was able to do what he did that night, and I was, I was, I was there commenting that, that night, and uh, he looked phenomenal, you know, and, and he was able to really control and neutralize, uh, neutralize Loma. I know he's talking about the shoulder and whatnot, but it wasn't just that. It was hard counter punches that were very dangerous that were just missing you know that kept Loma from being too aggressive early would you rather see him fight a Josh Taylor instead of a rematch with Lomachenko or it's hard for me to even picture those two in the ring together you know <laughs> it's fun to think about it is it is it is <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a style clash for sure <clears throat> I don't know how I, I have to really think about that one kind of in my mind's eye to have that one because Chris would go uh, you know Sorry to interrupt you, but you know, Tiafimo, he was able to be more the counterpuncher against Lomachenko's yeah. shorter guy. I imagine he might, we might have to see him fight in a different style, and he'd have to cut oh. that distance, oh, right? Because Taylor's definitely. tall and can move it. He'd have to fight either all the way in or all the way out. You know, when you got, when you got a, when a range difference like that, and also, you know, another southpaw. Um, you know, just because they're both southpaws, they're very, very different styles and body makeups. So uh, it's an interesting fight. I, just, I think Taylor's going to have a 47. He's a big 40 pounder. Oh, you don't think he'll stick around at 40 for a while? So. No one does. No one who, no one who unifies does. <laughs> Unify and then you go get the money at 47. And 40 is usually that transitional weight. Yeah, anyway. not, the money's not there. Right. Except when Chris Algieri was there. Well, All I'm, the money I'm, was I'm, there, I'm, baby. I went at the 47 to make money, too. <laughs> no, That's I why I said, then I moved back down.